Governor Chris Christie and a life-changing decision. Joining the 200,000 Americans who will get weight loss surgery this year. You can see the difference. Here he is two years ago, and here he is today. 30 pounds lost since the operation three months ago. And as you know, he's a possible presidential candidate in 2016. ABC's Paula Ferris has more. Chris Christie is losing it, quite literally. In terms of keeping it secret, it's nobody else's business. But still, the colorful governor of New Jersey decided to share why he underwent secret weight loss surgery. I did this for myself, my wife, and my children. And unlike some of you, they will still pay attention to me whether I run for president or not. Once slender and athletic, Christie has struggled with his weight for 30 years, telling Diane he's tried everything from fad diets to personal trainers. Right what do you now. say to yourself to psych yourself into it? In uh, I just look in the mirror, Diane. I just go, okay, I gotta get healthier. He deflected critics with humor, most recently in February, munching donuts on Letterman. That stunt brought fire from a former White House doctor. I worry about this man dying in office. Christie was livid. Completely irresponsible. My 12 year old son comes to me last night and said, Dad, are you going to die? But just days later, Christie secretly checked himself in under a false name for laparoscopic band surgery, only telling his wife, kids, and chief of staff. The procedure places a tight, adjustable band around the stomach, reducing its size and the amount of food a person can eat. Overall, what is the success rate with this type of surgery? About 75% of patients will be happy with their weight loss, about 25% will not. Since 1994, 750,000 Americans have had the surgery. Christie's friend and New York Jets coach Rex Ryan had the surgery in 2010 and privately convinced the governor it was worth it. The governor thinks the scales are tipping in his favor. I feel great about myself, you know. Paula Ferris, ABC News, New York.